My name is uh, Wayne Belazer or Wayne Del Belazer. Um, I am the father of one, grandfather of four, um, aspiring farmer. Um, you'll notice I, I usually always introduce myself as Wayne or Wayne Dell. Um, rarely doctor. Although people say, well, that's important. But I think that's because I've never really been married to that type of thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, listening to some of my colleagues here um, reciting their poetry. That was my dream as a youngster oh. to be a poet. Oh. Oh. Wow. So, <laughs> okay. Um, yes. So in high school, for example, I was fearful of going to the bathroom without a pen because I might be inspired to write something, you know, <laughs> yeah. on the toilet paper. <laughs> um, but Haitian parents. Uh, usually discourage children from those kinds of activities, the arts. Yes, yes. You are aspiring to be a writer. Um, so specifically, I, I remember my dad saying, you know, I was busy writing. He would always saw me writing and he said, what are you doing? Well, I'm writing poetry. And we had a discussion, you know, I want to be a poet. He said, stop that. Stop that now. You're going to be a doctor. So there were only a few a handful of things you can aspire to be. Uh -huh. A physician, a lawyer, or an engineer. That was it. Mm. Beyond that, uh, it was, what are you doing? Mm. Um, I say that because I've had some difficulty as a father mm. because of that attitude. Mm. Um, when my daughter was in high school, she was drawing. Mm -hmm. she, wanted, she aspired to go to Japan and learn to be a manga artist, of yes. all things. Awesome. Mm. Awesome. And um, I'm sharing this. It's it's not the uh, high point in my life, but uh, I'm sharing this because it's something that has affected me and affected my relationship with my child, uh, and perhaps has led me to this place. Um, so I had a lot of patients who were wonderful artists, um, visual artists. Mm -hmm. So. And I knew uh, where they lived. Some of them lived in a trailer park that was somewhere near um, one of my offices. So I drove her th through the trailer park and I said, well, understand the choice you're making. If you're gonna be an artist, this is potentially where you might have to live. Terrible. And this is something she tells me, you know, to this day, essentially I, I was killing her dream. I thought I was being protective in telling her, you know, there are consequences to your choices um, and the consequence of pursuing this path of being an artist may be, you know, whatever. Um, so, I think at this point, I'm at a better place of understanding. And I'm raising my grandsons who are eight and six. Um, I would um, inspire them to pursue their path, their passion, their passions. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, wow. Thank you so much. But don't go yet. Don't go yet. Yeah, yeah, please. So I was I was very interested in hearing like um, Wayne Dale. Let me not say doctor. Well, when I get my doctorate, you have to call me doctor. Um, doctor Peppy is fine. Um, not Dr. Pepper, which is my previous name. But anyway, no, no, no. I was, I was talking to him, and he said he was born in is it Bahamas, raised in Haiti, and does some stuff in like the DR. And I'm like, oh why? Wow, this is a serious Caribbean person right here. So, um, talk a little bit about some of the other Caribbean territories that you've traveled, if you have, and how does it compare with your experience in Ghana? I've gone throughout the Caribbean. Okay. I've traveled throughout the Caribbean and South America. Um, I've always wanted to uh, uh, come to Africa. Um, I am surprised at how Caribbean this atmosphere feels. You know, the music, the food, and uh, the people. Um, so this is very, very 
My short answer. Do we have any questions for the good Wayne Dell? Since I can't say the good doctor. Is she eventually pursuing art? So okay, no, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Good. Right. Okay, so there was a question from Kelly. Do you want to say it so we can hear? Oh, yeah, I was asking that his daughter, you know, go ahead and pursue her art or writing. What she wanted to do. She's a writer. Okay. And um, I've kind of tried to create that space for her to be a writer. So she manages a little farm I have. Um, full time, but she writes. Okay. She writes and she sings and um, produces music, that kind of thing. Oh. So I have a, I'm sorry, I, I, uh, Pat, do you have a question? Sure. So um, I have our prelogue to the voice. So I did that uh, complaint thing, and somebody sat me down and said, You earned your degree, so you are a doctor and will. <laughs> <laughs> so, doctor, <laughs> why aren't you practicing medicine? I think um, exactly because of that. It was not, you, can you hear me now? Yeah, it was not really my passion. I think we summered um, on my parents' farm uh, growing up. So, at the end of school, the house would be sh uh, shut out. And we would go to um, our farm in the countryside in Haiti. And I think my best memory is following my grandfather as he, you know, walked through his farm with his machete. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, yes, yes. Uh, basically doing whatever he did, you know, with his little straw hat yeah. and his uh, uh, kind of corn cob yeah. Uh, yeah. pipe. Yeah. Um, so those are my best um, memories of childhood. Uh, or chasing the goat around um, the yard. Uh, I think I wanted to get back to that ultimately. Yeah. And I think after become a, becoming a physician, the dream was I need to figure out how to get this part of my life over as soon as possible and get to that. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> um, Kobe, no? Okay, 